Welcome to the Kingdom of Cambodia, a country in transitions, trying to catch up with its fast developing Asia neighbors. Energy access is one of these major challenges. Today, 78% of the Cambodian population lives in rural areas, following a traditional lifestyle, pure woods, and shackles still count for 80% of the energy balance of the country. With the increase of the populations, the need for energy is growing and forest resources of Cambodia are slowing disappearing. Deforestation is a great driver of climate change, loss of biodiversity, and impacts the most vulnerable parts of the populations. Today, the production and distribution of charcoal remains an informal sector, even though rural households depend today on the small income generating activities. In response to both the economical challenge and the environmental crisis, Jiris launched in 2011 the Sustainable Charcoal Project. French NGO Jerus has been working in Cambodia since 1994 with the mandate to bring sustainable and affordable energy solutions to the Cambodian population while developing a dedicated private sector. With this project, financed by EEP and in partnership with WE3 and Abonot, Jerus take actions on the show called Wallouchens of Cambodia, the result being the introductions of a legal and sustainable shock code on the Cambodian market. Uh, ហើយគឺកំពុងឆ្នាំងហើយនឹងកែប្រូសັດហើយទឹកដៅរបស់គម្រោងចម្បងរបស់យើងហ្នឹងគឺយើងចង់សម្រេចឲ្យបាននៅ
vì vì sát vì nâu là o chẳng là dương ai mình chia việc bán dương đầm râu cá bàn tay bờ sân chỉ lo bờ ran dương mình ai đầm râu cá bàn đôi loi xì mờ này tệ đòi xa ta dương ở miền sầm rẽ sầm rạp cướp cướp cầm đau rư cò ở đằng đằng thà vì chạy ăn hay được gần nấu dương ở bàn đằng tệ Cheers, along with community leaders, select community members to train them building the kills. Subsidized by the projects, the kills are handmade out of local raw materials, but follow the quality standards to ensure their efficiency. A second group of trainees is then selected for the operations training, how to load the wood, how to monitor temperature, how to burning the kill, and of course, how to unload. Each batch produces 350 kilograms of shock holes ready to be sold on local markets. The earnings are shared among the producer and the local communities. All through the process, the Jiras team follow up the training to communities, control the quality of the products, and ensure that the kills are working properly. By using this improved shakol rather than traditional, households and restaurant owners see the difference. Less fuel consumptions, faster cooking, and less ashes are part of the benefits. The productions of the first six kills are already found usual customers. Today, six kills are in operations in both provinces, with 40 community families working on productions. But to meet the growing demand, to provide security to the producers, and to supply to Cambodia a sustainable and legal shakals offer, more kills needs to be built. By 2015, the project should have subsidized the production of 22 kills in four provinces of Cambodia. This project is representative of Jira's actions in bringing technical environmental solutions on the local markets while creating income generating activities and fostering a resilient, environmental friendly local private sector. <laughs>